Hello, welcome back YouTube. Welcome back to Beach and Living Like a Boss. My name's Milt. This is, or not October, this is November the 3rd of 2024. And uh, yesterday, or, or a couple days ago, I uh, was working at this 1530 McCormick Deering, and uh, I thought I'd get it fired up at, at that time, but uh, everything I did was uh, not really... Uh, working out for me and then on top of it it started raining so we called her early but here today this is uh, Sunday actually so uh, we're going to continue and uh, we did some learnings on uh, what possibly is the problem a I got to double check on the firing order coming off of this mag this drive shaft actually turns this way which tells me that the rotor is going to be turning this way, which is, uh, well, clockwise as I'm looking at it, but counterclockwise from the radiator. So I'm pretty sure this is number one, because it's numbered number one at this point. So I'm pretty sure this pin is going to be number three, going to here, and then number four, going to the back, and then number two, finally, over here. I'm pretty sure that's right, but... I just set the uh, plugs with a, um, a dime and maybe it's a little too wide of a gap. So I'm going to uh, uh, go through these spark plugs and then uh, reset it to 20 thousands. I think a comment on my last video, a guy had said 25,000 cent your plugs, it's only 25,000, but I'm going to go to 20 and it's, uh, you know, because this mag has not been overhauled so it's probably on the weak side so we'll just see, try that out and then we will uh, prove our um, plugs are good all right let's get after these plugs I was made aware early this afternoon by a viewer that the uh, serial numbers are stamped uh, in between the end of the block there and the governor housing and this one is 5639 which moves it back two years from a 25 to a 23. Okay, that's actually a 20 thousandths uh, setting for the plug. So we'll, uh, I'm going to tie it to this here uh, um, bracket and then put the line on it. I'll turn it over with the crank and see if I got uh, some kind of spark out of it. The same uh, individual that was watching my video there, uh, as well as the serial number for the engine, he made me aware of where the uh, casting number is below the belly of this tractor, and it proves to be that the tractor is actually a 1925, so it has a 1923 engine in it. Whatever happened there, we don't know. Okay, we'll uh, move the camera on over to see if I can focus in on that spark uh, happening, if it's going to happen. Okay, here goes nothing. Uh, I got to set the impulse. Okay. 
I don't know if the camera seen that, but I could see a spark here. It just happened on uh, the number one as it rolled by the marks that I put on there earlier. So we got spark, which is good. So let's uh, do the other three and then uh, put them in and then we'll get after the setting the valves. Well, they're well oiled anyway after I uh, straightened out this rod. Was it this one? I believe it was this one. Anyway, straightened out that push rod. So uh, I'm going to go roll this over and uh, and uh, adjust the uh, valve lash. Okay, that's number one top dead center. Oh, and I didn't bring my screwdriver. Now this is 20 thou, and it's not going to be very good because these rockers are actually worn. They need to be all taken off and sent to a valve shop and have these uh, ground down to round them right off nice and smooth again. But uh, right now they got a wear mark in them, so it's going to be kind of hard to uh, come up with a proper uh, gap on it. But we're just going to set it all the same to what uh, we can feel, I guess. So. so that's just over 20 thou. Okay, there's a, this is going to be not too accurate because it's got such a defined wear on the rocker to the stem, but uh, a little too tight there. I Well, it's hard to say if it's too tight, but we'll... Uh, Okay, there it's uh, set right. So from here, I'm going to go uh, another turn. I'll do four. Or no, yeah. I'll do another turn and do the four, number four, and then turn it over to either two or three, and we'll do two and three. So we'll get that all done, and then uh, put the cover back on, and then we will uh, we'll try turning this puppy over.
Okay, valve cover is back on. So let's just uh, set things up. I'm going to open up these uh, gas. So you uh, pour raw gas into the these two uh, intake uh, ports and uh, we'll see what happens there. Got no choke on the carburetor and I got this here bungee cord just holding this throttle into a, almost an idle. I don't have the gas turned on because I don't want to have a runaway. So we're just going to put enough gas in here and just we'll see what happens and then the, if we're successful I will open up the gas and see if it'll run off uh, the carburetor. Okay, we got raw gas into the intakes. We'll just shut these uh, cups off. I'll get on the case and we'll uh, fire that uh, old girl up and belt her over. We'll see what happens.
lake, that's pretty clear that we got fire in the hole. It'll run as long as I put the raw gas in through these ports. It did fire off as I choked it initially, but I think there's some, something's plugging up in the carburetor. It, uh, full choke, it doesn't uh, want to fire anymore. So we're just going to take that off and uh, clean that out. But successful. This is a 1925 1530 McCormick. I don't know when the last time it actually ran. 50 years ago. Who knows? But without any putting any money into it, uh, except for the purchase of it and the new plugs, we got her to fire off in its 100th year. So it first fired in 1925 and uh, fired up again successfully here in 2024. So that's 100 years. So pretty excited about that. That was one of my main goals. I wanted to get her to fire off in, uh, on its 100th year and we've done that. So we just got to do a little bit of carburetor work and, uh, and uh, move forward on that regard. But we're going to call this the end of the darn video again and uh, keep watching. Subscribe, like if you like this old, uh, these old horses firing up. I'm just so excited. We'll catch you later. making a little flame that's awesome now that is a runner it's a little smoky but she's a runner